Hey guys, what is going on? It is season three in Vanguard, and this is a very, very exciting time to be a Call of Duty fan. We've got new maps, we've got new guns, and we are taking a look at one of them here today, which is the M1916 Marksman Rifle. Now, the build that we have got here today gives us the potential for a one-shot kill to the upper torso with the vital perk, or if you get a headshot as well, that counts as a one-shot kill as well. This is one of those weapons that does have the potential to just be absolutely ridiculous, but if you don't hit that upper torso shot or the headshot, you do sort of get the three-shot kill, which is not ideal, but when when you do get a one-shot kill with this thing, it is one of the most satisfying guns in Vanguard. Just before we do get into talking about our M1916 class setup here though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it and it really does help me out. However, I know that about 85% of you guys watching this right now are not subscribed. If you could take the time to join our little community here, that would be absolutely fantastic. So let's talk about the brand new marksman rifle in season three of Vanguard, the M1916 with the one-shot kill build. So as I mentioned here, the one-shot kill is very, very important for this particular class setup. We can get a one-shot kill with this. We deal 136 damage to the upper torso and the headshot with this particular barrel attachment, which is a custom one, which is really, really strong. However, as I did mention as well, if you aren't hitting that upper torso shot, you do get a three-shot kill, which is obviously not ideal, but you gotta be accurate with this thing. This is one of the coolest class setups that we've made recently. Starting us off here, we do have the muzzle, which is the G28 compensator here. This does give us a little bit of a boost to our recoil control. If you like the silencers in this game as well, you can take one of those as well. The very important attachment here that we do have is the ZP custom. This does give us no enemy skulls, recoil control and accuracy, headshot damage, and an increase to our fire rate. If we do take a look at that vital damage, 130 damage is very, very strong. However, the damage on the normal body shot is 36. So what we really want to be going for here is, of course, the headshot or the upper torso shot because we do carry vital, which is really, really strong. Increase the size of the critical hit area on enemies, which includes the headshot, includes the upper torso for our lovely one-shot kill. This doesn't have no effect when paired with larger caliber rounds. So have we paired this with larger caliber rounds? No, not really. We do have the 6.45 Sakura 20 round mag here, which does increase our recoil control and accuracy, our aim down side speed, our fire and our movement speed. But again, does drop out by damage a little bit here. As we can see, the damage numbers of 36 damage per bullet at 461 RPM is very, very weak but we do have 130 damage potential with the one shot kill. So keep that in mind here. This is super, super powerful if you're accurate with this thing. Moving on here to the rest of the attachments here. The optic is of course, whatever you prefer here. We like the G16 two and a half times scope for those medium range maps. However, you can just take a slate reflector if you are playing up close. In the stock, we do have the ZP M502 custom for the horizontal recoil control and the accuracy, as well as giving us that little boost to our aim down side speed on top of this. Under barrel again, M1941 hand stop as well for recoil control and accuracy. I'd Probably also look at like an SMLE pistol grip for more sprint to fire speed if you're into that kind of thing as well. In the ammo type, I think we do start off with incendiary in the gameplay because we're a little bit of a goon, but we do have length in here just increase that bullet velocity by 30%, giving us better hit detection. Rear grip, we do have the fabric grip here for the aim down side speed and the sprint to fire speed, as well as the hip fire recoil recovery, which doesn't come up super long. In the proficiency, we did mention this already for the vital perk. This is super, super important for this class setup, but you do have to be level 70 here. So this is a last unlock for this particular weapon. So it does take a while. While. But the kit does finish us off here with the fully loaded perk for, of course, the maximum starting ammo. So this is going to be one of those classes that, that does take a while to unlock. It is basically the last level where you get vital perk. But I mean, this thing is just such an absolute menace once you are getting these one-shot kills. It's one of my absolute favorite class setups in the new season. Alrighty, obviously Mayhem is not going to be an ideal location for a class setup like this, as we are, of course, running a marksman rifle at the end of the day. But there are some decently like medium to longer range lines of sights on this particular map where we can make use of this. Now, the extra special draw card of this weapon is that we can get one shot kills with the right attachments, which is really, really goofy. Like, there's a barrel, the sniper custom barrel or whatever it is, and you'll see it in the gameplay. You'll see we're going to start getting some one shot kills here, which is just, it's just pretty good, man. Like, did he? Okay, so yeah, one shot kill there. That's, that's fun. Like, that is, see? See, this is going to be a problem, boys. If you like accurate weapons in this game, like, you like weapons that just allow you to dink people and shoot them in the to upper torso, headshot even. Come on, we can do this. We can pick this guy off. Nah, we can't. No, we can't. Oi, oi, oi. Relax, relax. If you don't hit the upper torso shot or the headshot, of course you are. Sort of getting like a three shot kill, which makes you less, less reliable. But like, the consistency of the potential one burst kill, man, or the one shot kill, really is super satisfying. Like, it's one of those guns where you just look at it and go, 
if I if I'm accurate, if I play the game well here, I'm gonna rack up loads of kills. And I can see like pro players looking at this class and being like, yeah, nah, we're not we're not having we're not having this in our in our meta game. Just because you can just look at people and you can decide, yep, yeah, you know, your your life is over. You don't get to play the game anymore. But of course, as we did mention, mayhem not an ideal map for something like this. It is a little bit close quarters, a little bit fast paced for a marksman rifle class stuff where typically you would want to sit back a little bit more. But as you can see, man, just because we can sit back just a little bit. Are we still using the incendiary rounds? I think we are. Let me check. Let me double check. Yeah, we are. <laughs> you probably don't want to be using that too much. Maybe just drop on like lengthened or something like that. I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit more in the class setup section that we did earlier. But I mean, this, this is just a lot of fun. Like being able to just one shot kill people is super, super interesting. Even if you are a little bit less reliable at those close range instances, when you actually have hit a, like a headshot or a body shot, up, up a torso shot rather up close, it can be a little tricky. It can be a little tricky to get that done, but I mean, it's just one of those potential things where if you're insane at the game, you're just going to pull this weapon out and be like, yep, well, every single person who comes into my site is going to die here. You can even see this out with like a little bit of like a close range optic. You get your like your close range optic in your slate reflector and you just have a little bit of a better time with this or you don't play on such a close range map. That would help as well a little bit more, mostly because yeah, at the moment we're struggling a little bit with the aim down side speed on this thing just because we would prefer to sit just back a little bit more. But I mean... You get those one-shot kills, dude. This is like one of the most satisfying weapons they've ever added. I'm also super, super keen on the Nikita NVT. The NVT is also very, very cool. I'm really very much looking forward to like playing around with that. I've seen some sick class setups with that thing, so it looks very strong. A little bit tough there again, close range caught out. But I mean, that happens. That happens with a class setup like this. And there is definitely a lot of maps in this game where you can oh, see like... We shot that guy in the head, and he just disappeared. Like, he's not allowed to play the game anymore. And you get a lot of that. See, you one shot kill, dude. <laughs> one shot kill, dude. Oh my goodness. This is super satisfying. Might not be the strongest class I've in the game. Like, you can probably kit this out a little bit better to just be almost consistent two shot kills everywhere. And I'm sure that would perform a little bit better in the long run, like overall. Just because with this, you do actually have to get that three-shot kill if, or... Yeah, three-shot kill if you aren't hitting the headshot or the upper torso shot. But I mean, when you do hit the headshot, it's just so satisfying. Like, nothing competes this with... Like, nothing competes with this, man. In terms of satisfaction in this game. Just being able to look at people and decide, yep, you're not playing the game anymore. Ooh! Never mind. We were rewarded for our... Uh, for our aggressive angle peek there. Check that over the top. We've got to get out of this area. This is a very cool map in this game. I'm definitely going to be making a map guide on this very, very soon. I really do think this is one of the cooler aesthetics that they've made for a map. As I have mentioned in a number of videos now, they, my favorite... Oh my goodness. My favorite, like, aesthetic vibe for a map is this kind of stuff. I like when COD goes goofy, man. I like when COD goes goofy. Like, it's just a bit strange, a bit different. Like, there's actually, like more interesting things going on of course like the the regular the regular style of war war maps like you know your standard stuff oh, good. oh my god <laughs> yeah i like when cod does your serious stuff like your normal slightly more realistic things but i also like when they have fun too i like when the maps are a little bit more creative a little bit more fun and this like movie set that they've made is really really great i'm not even gonna lie we're not even doing that well but like this is just like one of the most, like a lot of the time, this is the most fun that I've had in Call of Duty for a little while, man. Just being able to decide, like get those one shot kills on people is so satisfying. And I mentioned that a number of times throughout this video, just how satisfying it is. Mostly just because you just go boop and someone's like, yeah, no, nah, I don't get to play anymore, which is just great. It's really, really fun. What is not fun though, is the counter spy planes flying around all the time. That is, yeah, you got to hit your shot though. you got to hit your shots. Like with most marksman rifles, if you're missing your shots, you're obviously not going to get as many kills. So this might not be a weapon that is for everyone. You can get this out a little differently to just be a little bit more reliable at those like two shot kill ranges. That would probably be a little bit more consistent. But I mean, like who's going to argue being able to like one tap people with the upper torso is just so much fun. Vitals are really, really good weapon proficiency. <laughs> That's not really a secret. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Line up on here. I'm just gonna wait for somebody to come to us. We're not gonna. Like, okay, maybe we should have turned around. Let's get out of here. Get out of that guy in there. I'm sure there's gonna be a guy coming around this side as well. Is there anybody here? There's a guy going that way. Yeah, there he is. Couple of taps into him and he just falls over. One shot kill, man. Oh my god, I love this thing. I love this thing. Hey. And that's one of the things about this particular class up. We did pretty badly there. I mean, we got 45 kills, but we did die a lot. If you're more accurate than me, if you love hitting those upper torso shots, even the headshots, man, you just get these one-shot kills, and this is one of the most satisfying guns in the game. One-shot kill marked and rifle. Oh, mwah. So, as you saw there, guys, obviously not my best gameplay. I think we went like 45 and 21, which is absolutely terrible, man. Like, that's so many deaths. But we were playing on a very close range map with like a big old marksman rifle with getting one shot kills. So, I feel like we did actually pretty well. You saw that with the one shot kill, man, you absolutely delete people from the game. It is so, so satisfying. Of course, it is a little lackluster if you are getting those three shot kills, like you're not hitting those upper torso headshot kind of kills. It can be a little lackluster. The TTK is not great in that situation, but I mean, just the potential of a one-shot kill, man. So, so satisfying. Just before we do go here, though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. If you do want to stay up to date with all of the Season 3 class setups, we've got map guides coming, we've got class setups coming for all the new weapons and all the new content. Make sure, as I said, to hit that subscribe button, as well as that 85% of you guys watching this right now are not subscribed. If you could take the time to hit that red button for me, that'd mean an awful lot to me. Again, thank you very much for watching this one, as I said, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!